It's the headline glamour matchup of the college football bowl season, featuring Texas and Notre Dame, with the Heisman Trophy winner, the Outland Trophy winner, the Walter Cap Trophy winner, the Coach of the Year, and the possible national championship at Dallas, Texas, in a stadium that has been sold out for months, the 1978 Cotton Bowl. Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. Texas. Dave Reeve will kick it off. He is from Bloomington, Indiana. Dropping back, you see Jenkins number two dropping back, along with Lamb Jones, the man of whom Paul Horning just spoke. He recently ran uh, 100 meters in 9.85. Was an Olympic sprinter on the relay team, of course. Lamb Jones and he can fly and the Texas Longhorns make the most of him. He's talking to Jackson. Alfred Jackson, his teammate, and there is Reeve. And the Cotton Bowl game will be underway in just a moment. We are awaiting the whistle of Carlson, a referee that will start Reeve forward. And here he comes. The ball is in the air. Lamb Jones moves up, and he has it at the five. Lamb Jones to the 10. Hands it off on the reverse. They bring it back around to the 11-yard line. It was Randy Harrison who made the tackle. Reverse play given off to Johnson. He is the safety man, the punt returner, Johnny Johnson, who also can fly. The Longhorns have it first and 10 at their own 11-yard line. Well, they were trying to surprise the Notre Dame special teams right away. Texas ran a lot of reverses on kickoffs last year, but to my knowledge, that's the first time they've tried it this season. It backfired, but at least you know they're bringing it to them. Cinderella quarterback McEachern brings, McEachern brings them up. Split backs off the beer. McEachern handing it off to Earl Campbell. Who else? And Earl gets up to the 14-yard line for three. It'll be second and seven. Jeff Weston in to make the tackle for Notre Dame. There's the Notre Dame defense. Browner, Dyke, Golick, Calhoun, and Fry. Linebackers, Heim, Crowder, and Becker. And the deep backs, Bradley Bergmeier on the corners, Jim Browner, and Restiker deep. Second down play coming. Texas will both run the veer and the eye formation with Campbell being the deep back. They're in the eye formation now. This is Campbell. Got just about to the 15-yard line. Third down and five yards to go for Texas. and throws and it is complete to his tight end. It was taken by Gil Harris. Gil Harris took it the tight end. First down and 10 yards to go and the ball's across the 35 yard line. They're in the slot right. Leave it on the ground again to Campbell and Earl Campbell, the Heisman winner, goes to the 45 yard line. Second down and a yard to go at the 45 yard line. That's McEachin. Gonna throw it and going long to Jackson. Bergmeier covering incomplete. That's up being incompletion. That's the luxury down. So now it's still third and one at the third down and a yard to go, and it's at the 45-yard line. They got Lamb Jones far to the right side. There's a the pitch and it's loose. It was for Campbell, and the scramble is on, and Notre Dame is recovered at the 31-yard line. Ross Browner on the football. Ross Browner. 
Outside the 31-yard line, Joe Montana brings him up. Five receivers left and right. Only Heavens is a running back. That's Waymer across in motion. That's Ooh. Vegas Ferguson, the tailback. Vegas Ferguson to the 30, picked up a yard. It'll be second down and nine yards to go. The Texas defense stacked him up at the 30. There's the Texas offensive line, uh, the Notre Dame offensive line, Foley, Horansky, Huffman, Hughes, and McDaniels. Montana, Ferguson, and Heavens in the backfield. Receivers, Haynes, McAfee, and Waymer. At the 30-yard line. Second down and nine yards to go. Evans and Ferguson. Montana has the ball, and he's going long. He's open. Incomplete down the left sideline. Oh, he was there. They were trying to cover him one-on-one -on -one with Derek Hatchett. Derek's got 9-4 speed himself, but uh, had a step. It Doman, the intended receiver. That's what I was going to say, Lindsey. Tom Doman. <laughs> There's your defensive line for Texas, and it's a good one. Very, very quick. Bones, Shear, McMike, McMichael, and Campbell. Tim Campbell's the brother of Earl Campbell. Copeland, Martinoni, and Sunline are the linebackers. Hatchet, Blackwood, Johnson, Churchman are the deep men. Montana dropping back. Incomplete. He was trying to hit hands on a crossing pattern. It was in and out of the hands of Johnny Johnson. And now it's going to be a 47-yard field goal attempt for Dave Reed with Rustic holding, and this one is up, and it is good. 47-yard field goal for Dave Reed. Notre Dame has taken a 3-0 lead with 11 minutes, 35 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Dave Reed will put it up. And it's end over end. Good Lamb Jones, two yards deep in the end zone, will not run it out. It's a touchback, first and 10 at the 20-yard line. Now Texas has the ball. Earl Carmel has carried three times for 14 yards, first and 10 at the 20-yard line. McEachern is the quarterback. And it is Jones, oh, Ham Jones carrying. Ham Jones to the 50. Ham Jones goes out of bounds at the 40-yard line, first and 10. Ed Bergmeyer ran him out. Texas in Notre Dame territory. McEachern, the quarterback, they're running it out of an eye formation. That's Campbell, the All-American Heisman Trophy winner. Picked up two to the 38 before Jeff Weston made the tackle. He came in after two quarterbacks were injured in the Oklahoma game. That's Campbell. Earl Campbell to the 32-yard line. Ross Browner came to make the tackle. It'll be third and two at the 32. He picked up a few on the backward circle. They tried a bad play in there this time to Johnny Ham Jones. Trying to pick up the first down. Out of the eye formation, first and 10 at the 29. That's Earl Campbell. Moved it to the 27 for two. It'll be second down and eight yards to go. Bob Golick in to make the tackle. He's second down and eight. As they run out of the split back veer here. Ham Jones to the 20 yard line. Third for Ham Jones. Third and one, and this is Earl Campbell for a first and ten. First and ten for Texas. He led the Longhorns through an undefeated season. He won the Heisman Trophy. Number 20, Earl Campbell. All world. He's got it again. Got just to the 13 yard line. Sending Jones far to the left side. That's Lamb Jones. The kitchen. The kitchen decides to run it, and he has dropped the 14 yard line. It was Willie Fry who got to him. Harris is the tight end. Return, and he is being sacked. Back at the 25-yard line by Jim Browner. The strong safety, Jim Browner got to him, number 33. 42-yard field goal attempt. He tied the NCAA record against Rice with a 67-yarder. He considers this a chip shot. It's Churchman in at a hole, Ricky Churchman. Hicksleben puts it up. And it's good. Erksleben with the field goal. And the score is tied. They have traded field goals. Notre Dame three and Texas three. Six minutes, seven seconds left in the first quarter. Ball off can be attributed to coaching from his older sister. He kicks a knuckleball downfield. And it is Yurik off his chest. Yurik picks it up to the 13, to the 15, to the 20. And he is stopped at the 23-yard line. 11 plays on the drive, 80 yards, they get the ball, 5-18. Vegas Ferguson is carrying the football, and he gets to the 25 for two. It'll be second and eight. High formation. Notre Dame ran out of the eye for most of the year, went to it for the Army game, and stayed in it. Tom Doman is in motion across. Rolling is Montana, looking. 
throws up field and it's incomplete. He was trying to find his big tight end, I think. Notre Dame alternates the wing backs. They've got Dave Waymer out in the wide left now. Dropping back. Montana throw it. Complete. Chris Haynes is up at the 45 yard line. Vegas Ferguson evened up with Heavens. That's Heavens carrying on a delay and he gets across the 50 to the Texas 48 yard line. Second down and three yards to go. Waymer's in motion across. Montana gives it to Vegas Ferguson. He's got the first down. It is first and 10 at the 44 yard line of Texas. Morgan Copeland from his linebacker spot made the tackle. Texas three, Notre Dame three. Montana dropping back to set up. He looks and he throws long and it's incomplete. Trying to hit Waymer. Last night for a good night's rest. He had taken to the monastery the night before, so they were not at the hotel where they had been. That's a Vegas Ferguson and he stopped short of the 41 yard line. Third down and eight yards to go. Notre Dame at the Texas 41 yard line. Montana wants to put it up. Incomplete. That was Haynes over there on the sideline. Rustic has averaged 38.1. Johnny Johnson, one of the great punt returners in the nation, is back deep for Texas. Spiling kick. Goes out of bounds. Let's see where it's going to be lined up. It's going to be on up the sideline at the eight-yard line. So Texas will start first and ten at the Texas eight. Good kick. We are in a 3-3 tie here on a beautiful afternoon in Dallas, Texas, and we have three minutes, 27 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Campbell's carried eight times for 32 yards. Ham Jones three times for 51 yards. McEacher is the quarterback. Gives it to Earl Campbell, his Heisman Trophy winning running back who moves it up to the 14-yard line. Picked up six on the play. It'll be second down and four yards to go. It's the coaches show with Fred Akers throughout the season. All morning here with us as well. And there is Earl Campbell carrying. He moves up to the 20-yard line to pick up the first and 10 for the Longhorns of Texas. Sends Jackson to the left side. Jones to the right side. That's Johnny Lamb. That's the handoff quick to Johnny Ham. Second down and eight yards to go. Pockets in motion across for Texas. Great pitch to Earl Campbell. Moved up just across the 22-yard line, but Steve Heimkreider was there to meet him from his linebacker spot. Earl Campbell, one of 11 children reared by a widowed mother. And there's the pass out of the flat on the screen. It's taken by Ham Jones and Ham Bubble. Jones. Fumbled the football, and Notre Dame recovered it oh, he, at the 27-yard line. He got popped. Jim Browner got it. Jim Browner, another big play, was right there and fell on the loose football. First and 10 outside the 27-yard line. Joe Montana quarterbacking. Heavens is the fullback. Vegas Ferguson the tailback. Montana's got it. And he throws to McAfee. McAfee was his favorite target during the year when he caught 54. He took that one to the 17. First and 10 at the 17-yard line. That's Heavens. Jerome Evans bounced off and was stopped at the 16 after a gain of one. It'll be second and nine. Montana is two for seven, 31 yards in the air. Ferguson and Evans are the setbacks for the Fighting Irish. Waymer's in motion across. This is Evans to the outside. Evans with speed is at the 10. Dives up to the six yard line. Now time has run out in the period. Time has run out in the period. And so that is the end of the first quarter here at the 1978 Cotton Bowl game in Dallas. And the score is tied. Notre Dame 3 and Texas 3. It's first down and goal to go at the six-yard line. Double tight end. Sayers in there. Urich's in the ball again. And Terry Urich. Touchdown, Urich. Urich took it in from the six-yard line. He is a co-captain at Notre Dame. And it's the first touchdown of the afternoon. Great blocking off the left side. They pull the guard. It's a cross block on the outside. They caught Dwight Jefferson on the outside, and Yuri goes in just barely front. And Texas free safety Johnny Johnson was just wiped out on the play. He had no chance. So now Dave Reeve is in to attempt the conversion. Dave Reeve from Bloomington, Indiana. During the year, he was 39 for 44. And the extra point department, Restick puts it down, it's booted up, and it's good. And so, as they come back up the field, the score is Notre Dame 10, Texas 3. We are early in the second quarter, 14 minutes, 56 seconds left.
Uh, It'll be a kickoff now from Notre Dame to Texas. Dave Reeve will kick off. Alfred Jackson has dropped back along with Lamb Jones. Reeve puts it up. Johnny Lamb Jones from Lamb Passes at the nine yard line. He's at the 10, at the 15. Battery along the 20 and stop short of the 22 yard line. First and 10 now for the Longhorns. Eichern has brought them up. Campbell is in the left set. Instead it goes to Ham Jones, and Ham Jones moves in advance of the 23-yard line. This is headed four and a half minutes in the first quarter. There's the story of the football That's game. That's the difference of the ball game so far, Lynch. Second down play coming. The kitchen's long pass, and Jackson can't get it. In and out of the hands of Bergmeier. Campbell is in the left set. Keechern is dropping back. And it's Jackson. Jackson pulls it in at the 37-yard line, first and 10 for Texas. Flanker out of the eye formation. Ham Jones ahead of Earl Campbell. Earl Campbell powers up near the 40-yard line. Second down and seven yards to go. McEachern has the ball. He fumbles the ball. And Notre Dame recovers another turnover. And it is Willie Fry on the ball. It is at the 35-yard line. So it is first and 10 Notre Dame. Montana's under run the attack at the Texas 35-yard line. And the wing tee now with a wing right. Taken by Vegas Ferguson. Finds the hole and moves to the 30-yard line. Second down and five yards to go. Montana. And it is complete. Taken by his big All-American tight end, McAfee. Outside the 21, Ricky Churchman upset him. First and 10 at the 22-yard line, Doman in motion across. Vegas Ferguson, got about a half yard, and that's all. That we're talking about, Scott Appleton, Tommy Nobis, John Elliott. Again, it's Vegas Ferguson, trying to get to the outside. He's at the 15. Breaks away, gets to the 10, and goes out of bounds. Chris Haynes is split right, they're running a slot right. That's the wing back in the slot. In motion across. That's Waymer. Jerome Heavens. I rather Urich. It is Urich. Urich took it in. Urich had come in there at fullback and he scores his second touchdown of the day. Terry Urich, senior Seven. running back and co-captain. The Notre Dame fans are going crazy and there are a lot of them here. Watch the blocking on the left side. The same exact play, Lindsay. This time Urich goes outside. He scores his second touchdown of the day. He scored on the same play from four, four or five yards out for his first touchdown. Conversion attempt coming now. Leslie puts it down, Reeve puts it up, and it's good. And so the score is Notre Dame 17 and Texas 3. We have 11 minutes, 37 seconds remaining to be played in the first half. It is Dave Reeve to kick it off for Notre Dame. Ball is in the air. Jackson got it at the eight yard line. He's at the 15 20. And now pulled out. He's tried to circle back at the 19. First and 10 for the Texas Longhorns. Andy McEachern is the quarterback. Campbell's got the football. Campbell out to the 22 yard line. He picked up three on the play. It'll be second and seven at the 22. Second down and seven yards to go at the 22. They're going to have to go outside a little bit more, Lindsay. They're going to have to start using that counter option and try to get Campbell to the outside. Kitchen. And he is sacked. The kitchen dropped back there near the 15. Ross Browner and Willie Fry, the bookends met. Standing near his goal line. Schmitz and Bergmeier are deep. Hits across the 50, rolls out of bounds on Bergmeier's side. No return at the 40-yard line, first and 10. So now, Notre Dame gets the ball in good field position. They get it first and 10 at their own 40. It is Notre Dame 17, Texas 3, a 45-yard punt. Notre Dame has the ball now, first and 10. They have it at their own 40-yard line, and Joe Montana brings them up in an eye formation. Make the handoff. Montana has it. Home run. Ball of it. Weimer. And it 
It is intercepted by Texas. Taken by Hatchett. Derek Hatchett intercepted on the corner. Texas gets the ball. Randy Harrison's playing Rustic's free safety now for Notre Dame. Slavin handing it off to Jones. Ham Jones moved it up to the 25-yard line. Third second down and eight yards to go. Campbell is carrying to the 29-yard line. Bob Golick in to make the tackle. Keechan drops back. Intercepted. Ooh, Becker has it at the 30. Doug Becker is out of bounds at the 20-yard line. Boy, Lindsay, the game plan for Notre Dame is working beautifully. For Notre Dame first and 10 at the Texas 20-yard line. Motion across from the wing back. That's Waymer. Jerome Evans, and he is at the 17-yard line. They've got Chris Haynes far to the left side. They've got Doman as a wing back right. Running backs are evened up. Montana. Montana. Well, it was McAfee for whom it was intended. Oh, come on. That's just a story. Talking you know, back now. Well. Montana's throwing. And it's in the end zone. Touchdown. Vegas Ferguson. Vegas Ferguson. Touchdown, Notre Dame. Well, everything's going right for the Irish. Joe Montana. He's got the quick release. He's going to be a fine pro quarterback. He's a good drop back. Watch how he stands right there under a cool rush. Now watch the ball just come back right to Ferguson. A great catch. Martinoni, the middle linebacker, covering the halfback deep. No contest there. That's the old situation of, uh, you know, you hear it so many times, but the quick back isolated on the middle linebacker. Martinoni just couldn't make the play. Conversion attempt coming now. It's going to be Bergmeyer holding instead of Restick, who is out with the injury, and Reeve boots it up, and it's good. I think they should be number one if they can hold on. Dave Reeve is putting it up. It's over to Jackson, side of the field. Jackson at the 11-yard line. Alfred Jackson to the 20-25. He gets to the 30-yard line where he'll start first and 10. Lamb, Tony Lamb Jones far to the left side. Beach into Campbell. Campbell out to the 32 for two. It'll be second and eight for 32. Ross Browner and Bob Golick made the tackle. Second and eight. McEachin brings them up. Mike Lockett's far to the left side for the Longhorn. Kitchen goes to Lockett. Incomplete. Incomplete pass. Try to run the football, then throw it. Third down and eight yards to go. McEachin. And it's complete across the 50-yard line. Taken by Gil Harris, the tight end. Jim Browner made the tackle. First and 10 for Texas. Texas and the team that's playing Notre Dame. Johnny Jones, Garrett. Ham Jones and Campbell in the eye formation for McEachern. That's Campbell, and he's got running room. At the 40, 35, 30. The there Heisman Trophy winner down to the 27-yard line. First and 10 for Texas. In the eye formation once again. Earl Campbell's got the ball. Got to the 25-yard line. Picked up about two to make it second and eight there. Ronnie Mish is in the wide left now for Texas. And this is Campbell again. Hop to the 22-yard line. Picked up three. It'll be third and five. Bob Golick, the middle guard, made the tackle. Running backs are split. The feature to lock it. Little low and incomplete. It's going to be Churchman holding for him, and this will be a 39-yard attempt. Churchman puts it down, and it's blocked. Jim Browner has it at the five-yard line, and uh, it's just stood there for a moment and finally scattered over across, not knowing that a block punt can be advanced. He elected to simply try to down it, just throw it one extra point. Joe Montana is still quarterbacking. This is Vegas Ferguson. Vegas Ferguson gets it up there just short of the nine-yard line. At least five, and one pro general manager told me seven in this game today. Running room. Taken there by Heavens, and he moved it out to the 20-yard line. First and 10 at the 20-yard line. Motion across from the wing back. That's Waymer. Instead, he gave it to Heavens. But the Texas defense stacked him up for no gain. Let all right, Don. Second and 10 at the 20-yard line for Notre Dame. Vegas Ferguson got two yards to the 22, where it'll be third down and eight yards to go. Third down play coming. Montana 
Popping it on and out to Chris Ames. Just across the 30-yard line. 135 left to play in the first half. Notre Dame is leading 24 to 3. Back off play to Evans. Evans is up to the 40. Got good speed, and he gets to the 46-yard line. And 94 during the season, missed being a 1,000-yard rusher by only six. Notre Dame's had only 1,000-yard rusher. That was Al Hunter. Montana's throwing. Haynes on a comeback and incomplete. He dribbled it underneath his body. Incomplete, second and 10. Doman's going to a wide right. Chris Haynes to a wide left for Notre Dame. They're running out of an eye formation. Montana repeats and has the ball. Montana's throwing to Doman, and it's incomplete. Al. Hatchett was the man there, number three, who was trying for the interception, third and ten. Lone setback now for Notre Dame. By the draw play. Evans, Jerome Evans to the 43. I think he got the first down. I think he first and two. ten. Huffman, of course, from Dallas, Texas. Dropping back is Montana throwing long. And it's Haynes, and he is across the sideline. Incomplete. Keep in mind, you only have to have one foot in in college. And Montana was right on the money. See if we could pick it up. Montana's got all the time in the world to throw the football. Great pass protection. This is Haynes. Great camera shot here. Ooh, ooh, looked like he had his foot in there. But Awful the referee, close. a judgment call. 46 seconds left to play in the first half. Notre Dame 24 to 3. Montana throwing to McAfee. Incompleted pass. Clock was stopped on the incompletion at 41. Dickerson's in there, the wide receiver, Ty Dickerson. They throw the screen left to Vegas Dickerson, but he was popped right away by Martin Noni. Mark Martin Noni got to him immediately. Devin Muno in deep punt formation with 28 seconds remaining in the first half. Notre Dame 24, Texas 3. I'd go after him. I'd try to block it. Got to. They're rushing 10. You know, puts it up high and short. There'll be no return. It is out of bounds at the 32-yard line. Honey Lamb Jones, that is Earl Campbell on a delay, and Earl Campbell rambles through to the 42, and I think he's got the first down. Willie Fry made the tackle. First and ten. Keechan. Oh, oh Lamb Jones. Lamb Jones has got it. First and ten at the 25. Eight seconds on the clock. They call timeout immediately to stop it. Uh, Louisville's my home. First and 10 at the 25-yard line. McEachern putting it up, and it's Jackson. Jackson's got it. Incomplete. He had it just for a moment. Two seconds on the clock. Two seconds remaining to be played in the first half of the 1978 Cotton Bowl. McEachern. Time has run out. Incomplete. Wait. Penalty marker. Penalty marker. Hold it. Hold it. There's a flag. It's going to be against Jim Browner. There is a flag. It's going to be against the strong safety on Notre Dame's defense. The clock had run out, but the game, the halftime, will not end on a penalty. Cannot end on a defensive foul, and so now the <coughs> officials are in conference, and that is Vance Carlson this year. That's an offense. Notre Dame, first down. Alfred Jackson coming wide to the right side, and that's where it's going. Gun walls. And in there for a touchdown. It is taken by Mike Lockett. Mike Lockett for the touchdown. How do you like that for one play? Well, Mike. this this is the bowl. The bowl for the national championship. And Texas, this might do something for him at halftime. Lockett right over the middle on a post pattern. Double covered. He holds on to the football. Straight drop back action from McEacher. Good throw right on the money. And Mike Lockett, as we said, was a very heralded receiver in high school. And he's earning his keep right there. Gets the horns back in the ball game. Andy Harrison was there to make the stop. We have a conversion attempt coming now. Erksleben. Churchman puts it down. Erksleben boots it up. It's good. And so that is the end of the first half. And the score is Notre Dame 24 and Texas 10. As both teams stream for the tunnel now. Both teams streaming for the tunnel as Texas scores on the last play of the first half to cut the lead. It is Notre Dame 24 and Texas 10 at the end of the first half. Forward, and there it is. Down into the end zone. Urich will not run it out. Touchback, first and 10 at the 20-yard line. Notre Dame hold them deep in their territory and get good field position. He said some other things, too. Jerome Evans carries for Notre Dame. Six yards out to the 26th, where it'll be second and four. 
Ricky Churchman up from his strong safety to make the tackle along with Mark Martin Noni. Second down, four yards to go for Notre Dame. Running draw, and it's Vegas Ferguson. A yard short of the first down at the 29, where it'll be third and one. Third down and a yard to go, and the Texas defense is being exhorted by the crowd here. But it's a first and ten as Jerome Evans picked it up just across the 30 for Notre Dame. Beautiful day at the Cotton Bowl. Again, the draw, the running draw, and it's Vegas Ferguson. They lunge for a couple of yards up there to the 37-yard line, where it'll be second and three. And Jerome Evans, and Evans is up there at the 45-yard line. Just short of the 45-yard line. Try the draw again, trying those delays, and Evans gets up to the 49-yard line. Good job at the center. Yeah, always does a good job. Right again, the same way, Vegas Ferguson lunging to get to the sticks, and I think he got it. 12 minutes, 13 seconds left in the third quarter. Doman to a wide right, Chris Haynes to a wide left. Now Montana has it. And throws to McAfee. Ball skirted away. Incompleted pass is the call. Incompletion, it's a judgment call. Second down and 10 at the 45-yard line. Jerome Heavens picked up two yards to the 43 as Morgan Copeland made the tackle. Tight end to the right side, Doman far right, Chris Haynes to the left side, running back to the right formation. Antana. There's a screen left to Ferguson. Ferguson walking a tightrope down the sideline. Now, ball got away, but Notre Dame retains possession at the 27. Give it to Jerome Heavens to the 22-yard line. Picked up about seven to make it second down and three yards to go. Second down play coming for Notre Dame. That's Doman in motion across from the wing left. Terry Urick is carrying. Stacked him up. Third and three. That's the 22-yard line. Montana. And throws to McAfee, incomplete at the goal line. It'll be fourth and three at the 22. College football, you use the T, of course. And it is short. It is short. It'll be put in play at the 20 yard line. First and 10 at the 20 under college rules. So the score is still Notre Dame 24, Texas 10. Nine minutes, 58 seconds remaining in the third quarter of the Cotton Bowl game in Dallas. Texas has the ball first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They are trailing by 14 points. McEachern brings them up. Running backs are split. Camel in the left set. Earl Camel's got it. Moves in for three yards to the 23, where it'll be second down and seven. Second down and seven yards to go. Camel is still in the left set. Rolling is McEachern. Incomplete, trying to get his tight end, Gil Harris. It is third down and seven yards to go. Dropping back again is McEachin. And it is intercepted by Heimkreider. Heimkreider, the linebacker. It is first and 10 Notre Dame inside the 30-yard line of Texas. Notre Dame has the ball first and 10. They have it at the 29-yard line. Right to the left side to Vegas Ferguson. Hops up through the 25-yard line for a gain of four, where it's going to be second down and six yards to go. Chris Haynes to the left side. Tom Doman to the right side, running back to the eye. And here is the pitch taken by Vegas Ferguson, looking for a place to turn, and there is none. He's cut off at the pass. Hatchet over on the tackle. Third down conversions. They are six of ten. Not a bad percentage. And rolling is Montana, and he's throwing on the run complete. It's taken there by Weimer, who stayed in bounds at the 11 yard at the 16 yard line. Maybe. So it is first and 10 for Notre Dame at the Texas 15 yard line. Running backs in an eye formation. They're on a wing left, and that is Doman, the wing back of cross in motion. It is Yurik carrying Terry Yurik, and he has stopped for a loss of about a foot and maybe as much as a yard. Seven and a half minutes remaining in the third quarter. Notre Dame's running in a slot left. 
Whaler, slide back in motion across. Montana's got the ball. And he throws to Urich inside the 10. Urich out of bounds at the five yard line. They come up in a wing right. Evans. Out to the three yard line and that's all. Second and goal at the three yard line. Jefferson in on the tackle. Orsini is in there now. Sia is in at a double tight end. Orsini's in at a running back. Instead, it is Vegas Ferguson hitting in for the touchdown. Vegas Ferguson hit it into the end zone for a touchdown. And there must be a little weakness over there because that's the third time this afternoon that Notre Dame has gone off the left side for three touchdowns. This time, it's Vegas Ferguson. In the first half, Terry Urich got two at the same spot. Well, they caught him in the game. Texas is in the blitz that time and uh, just ran to the weak spot. So it is now Notre Dame 30, Texas 10 with a conversion attempt coming for the Fighting Irish. Bergmeyer will hold for Dave Reed. Bergmeyer puts it down, Reed puts it up, and it's good. So as they come back up the field in the 1978 Cotton Bowl game after moving 29 yards in seven plays, it's Notre Dame 31, Texas 10. So it's Johnson and Jackson back deep to receive it for the University of Texas Longhorns. Six minutes, 49 seconds left in the third quarter. Johnny Johnson at the 15 to the 20 to the 25 to the 30-yard line at Texas. First and 10 now. Ball is at the 30-yard line for Texas. Future. Right off to Campbell. He got three yards out to the 33, where it'll be second down and seven yards to go. Ham Jones from Hamlin, Texas, moved it out to the 35-yard line for two, where it'll be third and five. Third down and five yards to go. And it is batted incomplete. It's Heimkreider. Heimkreider batted it down, number 58. Schmitz and Bergmeier drop back to field the punt for Notre Dame. Bergslaven, an All-American. High trajectory punt. Fair catch signal goes up, and it's made at the 20-yard line. <laughs> First and in at the 21. Motion across from Weimer. Up the tailback spot. Vegas Ferguson running. He's got the first down. He's out to the 33-yard line. Finally dropped by Hatchet and Johnny Johnson. Got it in a slot right. Running backs in an eye formation for Joe Montana. Doman in motion across. Give it to Jerome Heavens. He gets two yards to the 35, where it'll be second down and eight yards to go. Second down and eight yards to go. Try the draw play. Across the 40-yard line. That has been a big story in this football game. Third and very short here now. Vegas Ferguson carries. Penalty marker is dropped. He lunged up to about in advance of the sticks, but there's a penalty marker to be checked out. Copeland and Churchman made the stop for Texas. Third and seven here now, back to 37-yard line. Tried to draw a play. Didn't go as Texas read it out. And Steve McMichael was in to make the tackle along with Jefferson. Punting unit comes out now for Notre Dame. Lestick went out with an injury in the first half, and Kevin Muno is doing the punting for Notre Dame. Johnson calls for a fair catch, and he makes it at the 32-yard line where Texas will start. First and 10 at the 32-yard line. The teacher is the quarterback. Gives it to Campbell. Earl Campbell. Got to the 34-yard line where it'll be second and eight. Two minutes and 37 seconds remaining to be played in the third quarter. Earl Campbell. Got just to the 35 before he's popped back. It'll be third and seven. Third and seven at the 35-yard line. Keechan. And it's completed. Did he ever thread a needle with that one? Taken by Alfred Jackson. First and 10, Texas. Jackson is in the slot left. Ready for Thompson? And there in place of Campbell, and he got almost to the 45-yard line for two, where it'll be second down and eight yards to go. 
Mike Lockett's on the wide left. Jackson on the slot left. Keechan. Going to Jackson. Back in the end zone, Randy Harrison has it for a touchback. First and 10, Notre Dame at their 20-yard line. Harrison with the interception, took it into the end zone at the 20. Keechan now, three interceptions. And Texas has also lost three fumbles, six turnovers. This is Heavens, Karen. Out to the 26. It's second down and four yards to go. Texas with the ball, or rather Notre Dame with the ball at their own 26. Off the tail of the tandem. Moved out to the 29-yard line. Once and time has run out in the period. So that's the end of the third quarter with the score. Notre Dame 31, Texas 10. We now pause for a word from your local station. In Dallas, Texas, Notre Dame is leading 31 to 10. Just try to wedge him out and pick it up, and they did. It's first and 10. But he wants him worse than Earl does. Montana to Heavens, and Heavens pulled out at the line of scrimmage by Brad Shearer, the Outland Trophy winner and All-American tackle at the University of Texas. It was a little bit cool, about 20. Vegas Ferguson. Tried to stretch his body out for a yard, and he got about a foot or so. It's Henry Williams. Call it third down and nine yards to go. He came back, and the big upset was over Southern Cal, and they rolled on from there. Vegas Ferguson. Again, it's the Texas defense, and Bill Aker. Evan Muno is back to do the punting. Blackwood is calling for the fair catch, and he makes it at the 41-yard line. First and 10 now for Texas. The Longhorns have the ball at the 41-yard line. Geechern still quarterbacking. University of Texas. Earl Campbell carried the football across to the 47-yard line. Earl Campbell back in the ball game, and he carried it. It's there at second down and four yards to go. This time, it is... Taken by Johnny Ham Jones and Ken Dyke made the tackle. Arguments, arguments. Third down and two yards to go. Kitchen throwing, and it's beyond the reach of Alfred Jackson. Ineligible man downfield and covered in on Texas. Declined. I'd have to gamble here. But they snap it short. Three touchdowns down, Lindsay. I'd have to go for it. With the they do snap down. it short. Try the reverse play, and it's read out by Notre Dame. Doug Becker was right there. First and 10, just across the 50-yard line. This is Jerome Evans, and he is popped. Second down and 12 yards to go. Montana has the ball. And the catch is made. Inbounds at the 34-yard line. Notre Dame at the Texas 34, 10 minutes, 58 seconds left to play. This is Heavens. Jerome Heavens send to the 29-yard line. Here is a final score in the Sugar Bowl game. Alabama 35, Ohio State 6. Vegas Ferguson into the 26-yard line, short of the sticks. Third and two at the 26-yard line. Double tight end, Mark Saya is in there. Vegas Ferguson looking to get the sticks. He's got it. First down, Goodbye. he's gone, they'll never catch him. He's gone. Touchdown, Vegas Ferguson. He has great speed, he can accelerate, and he did. What a cutback. Vegas Ferguson. dash for a touchdown. He caught a nine-yard pass in the first half for a touchdown from Montana. Watch this cutback. There's Ernie Hughes. In fact, he got in front of the guard, and he makes a great cut. Vegas Ferguson, only a sophomore from Richmond, Indiana. Puts Notre Dame on top, 37 to 10. With a conversion attempt coming as Vegas Ferguson goes to the sideline. He missed a good part of the season with an injury. Gave the offense a great boost when he came back to full-time action late in the season. He's carried 21 times for 94 yards here this afternoon. Dave Reeve will attempt the conversion with Bergmeyer holding for him. And it's good. So as they come back up the field here at the 1978 Cotton Bowl game in Dallas, Texas, it is Notre Dame 38 and Texas 10. <laughs> oh, do I remember John Arnett. Dave Reeve putting it up. 
Johnny right. Ham Jones at the six yard line dribbles it, but he's on his way to the 15 20 across to the 23 yard line where Texas starts first and 10. Interesting thing happened. Notre Dame felt that they were so ready that they canceled yesterday's practice. They thought they were ready to go. Here's a pitch to Campbell, Earl Campbell. Ross Browner runs him out of bounds at the 26 yard line. Kitchen right there. And the option pitch. Danny Ham Jones is pulled out by Scott Zetti. Lockett and Jackson far to the right side. That's Campbell again. Look at the Becker. 23. Becker Look. beside himself. Erksleben with a high trajectory kick again. Bergmeier calls for the fair catch and makes it at the 45. His own 45, first and 10, Notre Dame. So, the Fighting Irish start now, leading by a score of 38 to 10, and we have exactly eight minutes remaining to be played in the Cotton Bowl game. Two quarterback Montana, that's quarterback the entire game. That is Vegas Ferguson, or rather Stone, that is the freshman from Seattle. Brad Shearer made the tackle, Jim Stone. Running back, he was a uh, fullback for much of the season, but then came up with an injury. Weimer in motion across. Fake to Stone, Montana's got the ball. McAfee can't hold it, it is an incompletion. Mitchell is the up back, Stone is the tailback, Dolman's in motion across for Montana. Montana has the ball, and now he's going long to Chris Haynes, and it's incomplete. A penalty marker's thrown. There is a marker thrown. Offensive yeah. pass interference. That's lost it down. Speaking of Johnny Johnson, they return man for Texas. Johnson at the 27. And he's well covered by the Notre Dame special teams unit. And first and 10, Texas Longhorns at their own 29. McEachin is 7 for 18, 121 yards, three interceptions. McEachin setting up the put it up. Jackson has it at the 35-yard line and back to the 30, and now pulled out of bounds at the 30-yard line. He knows he's number one, right? Campbell at the 28-yard line, and it's Jay Case on the tackle. As the Notre Dame fans start chanting, goodbye, Texas, we hate to see you go. Penalty marker is thrown, McEachern, with a completed pass at the 37-yard line. It was taken there by Gil Harris, the tight end. Markers being checked out. We have quite offside. Up and back is McEachern. McEachern, and he's completed it. Played to Gil Harris, the big tight end, who gets up there to the 39. Now, very close to the sticks. He'll take a long look at this one. Undefeated, never lost a game in high school. McEachern. And it's Demish complete. At the 43-yard line, another first and 10 for the Texas Longhorns. It is first down and 10 yards to go now for the Longhorns. Keechern again. And he's got his tight end, Harris, but overthrew him that time. It'll be second and 10 at the 43. Right. <laughs> second down. Johnny Ham Jones. Ross Christians is in there now at the strong safety for Notre Dame in place of Jim Browner. Keechern being chased by Ross Browner, who's got him by the jersey, and that is it. Ken Dyke and Ross Browner. Fourth down and 14 yards to go. McEachern on fourth down throws it, and it's complete. Mish has it. Mish has a first down. It's at the 32-yard line. First down and 10 yards to go. Lockett going to a slot right, and McEachern didn't have a chance. McEachin dropped. It's going to be about the 42-yard line. McEachin brings them up. McEachin. Incomplete and almost intercepted. Back last year when he was having the injury problems. Suffice it to say, Notre Dame's done a better job on him than anybody else easily. Camel fared on that play and stopped at the 40-yard line after a gain of two. Going on a fourth and 18 here. Try the reverse play to Campbell. Campbell's got it. Looking for the sticks. 
but he is going out of bounds at the 32-yard line. If you're a coach of Notre Dame, you wouldn't mind it at all. They were number five. They need a little support if they did beat Texas. Keep everything in mind. Rusty Lish, the quarterback, on the handoff. Rusty Lish had an early injury, but stayed in the ball game. Mitchell is the fullback. Stone is the tailback. Schmidt's in motion across. at Stone, the freshman from Seattle. Got about a yard to the 36-yard line, which will make it third down at seven yards to go. Waymer to the right side. <laughs> Texas is out of timeouts. Rusty Lish. Rusty Lish to the 40, the 45. Got the first down at midfield. Then Blackwood made the tackle. They had been here almost as long as Paul Hornick. That's right. Quite. <laughs> Seems like my fourth week here. I wonder if they had as much fun as Hornick. I'm sure they did. Rolling is Lish. Going to McAfee. McAfee's got it at the 35-yard line. Rusty Lish. Incomplete. Ooh, he had him, too. He did. Dickerson to the right. Rusty Lish is rolling. Rusty what McAfee, a one-hand stab for McAfee. A one-hand catch and another first down Notre Dame at the 23. Oh. McAfee had 205 scholarship offers when he finished high school. Waymer, it's incomplete. Doman in motion across. Rusty Leash. And it's incomplete. Not still in the ballgame the tailback, Rusty Leash. To Weimer, inside the 15-yard line. Marked at about the 14. And Blackwood on the stop. Short of first down yardage. George Kelly in the defense, Joe Yano, Jimmy Johnson. An 80-yard, Rusty Leash got it. It's first and 10. Leash has the ball. And he gets it complete inside the five-yard line. Palace. It's in there, and that is Palace with the football, number 45. It's going to be right into the inbounds marker and spotted now. Less than a minute remaining. The crowd has started to move down to the sidelines, and we'll have a rush of people coming onto this field. Timeout. Notre Dame to stop the... Or rather, the game is over. The game is over. The game is over. We'll return to the Cotton Bowl after this word from your local station. <laughs> well, the Cotton Bowl game is history. Time ran out. Notre Dame had the ball inside the five-yard line at about the three when time had run out, but Notre Dame won it by a score of 38 to 10. And a big upset victory as you look at the tunnel leading up to both dressing rooms. Texas and Notre Dame mingling as they head for the locker rooms up the tunnel. Notre Dame has defeated Texas, the only defeat of the year for the Texas Longhorns. Notre Dame, of course, will lay claim to the national championship. It was an afternoon of football thrills, but Notre Dame early in the ball game. Established itself with getting a field goal to put them out front three nothing. Texas came back and tied it three three. From there, Notre Dame moved on, and the one big factor that was so obvious all day long was that the thing that killed Texas were the turnovers. They turned the ball over. Notre Dame alertly took advantage of it and won the football game. Lizzie, the first four turnovers in the first half. Notre Dame got four turnovers. They put three touchdowns on the board and a field goal, and that really. Uh, started the ball rolling for the Irish and they never looked back and they just convincingly a 28 point victory here today and I'm telling you look at them they're happy going into that locker room and Dan Devine couldn't be happier either because I'm sure that he feels that Notre Dame should be number one. There's Montana, fine quarterback, did an outstanding job. I tell you, the, you know Paul Alexander brought up I think the point that really uh, made the difference. Up front, Notre Dame was just too strong both offensively and defensively. Dave Huffman, the center. Ted Horansky and Ernie Hughes, the two guards. Tim Foley and Steve McDaniels and Ken McAfee were just a little bit too strong up front blocking. 
And then, of course, the front four and the linebackers for Notre Dame were just fantastic. And I don't even remember Luther Bradley, Restick, or Browner, or Bergmeier making a tackle. They didn't have to because Browner, Dyke, Calhoun, Fry, and the linebackers took care of the running game. You know, Paul, I think the coup de grace in the ball game came right after halftime. As you'll recall, Texas had closed to within 14 points right before the half. And Notre Dame uh, just took that second half kickoff and really established control of the line of scrimmage. And they did it on the ground, which is something of a surprise because Texas really did not feel that Notre Dame would be able to run the ball on them that effectively. They only picked up two first downs in the second half, uh, unofficially, Texas. And uh, they had 12 first downs in the first half. So Let's go down now to Don Crickey and Coach Dan Devine. All right, Lindsay, here is uh, the coach of Notre Dame, a man who's been under much fire this year, particularly after the team lost to Mississippi. Now uh, di directs his team to what might be one of the great victories in the history of this university. And there's no question about that. Dan, it must be a great feeling. Well, we have a great group of yeah, people. Go, and there's old Joe Rustic's mom right down there. She's, <laughs> she's a coach's wife. She knows how I feel. Uh, it's been a great privilege for me to work uh, with this fine group of young people. They're the ones that did the playing, Don. And... They've stayed uh, in shape all year. They've gotten themselves ready. They've done what the coaches have asked them to do. And I'm very, very happy for them and for the University of Notre Dame. What about stopping Texas' highly potent offense, Coach Devine? Uh, really, the great back Earl Campbell wasn't a factor in the game. Defense is 98% uh, emotion and 2% uh, the other ingredients, if you're, as long as you're sound. And we play a sound defense, a team defense, and the emotion was there, Don. How about you personally now? You've been under a great deal of pressure. It's a very difficult job. They call Notre Dame a national university, and certainly uh, if you don't win every game, any coach that's ever been there has been under a lot of pressure. You've probably experienced as much as any coach has been there. Uh, what is your attitude now towards the, the job at Notre Dame? You haven't committed yourself as to whether you'd come back. Uh, you said you'd wait till after this game. How do you feel about continuing at Notre Dame? I've just committed myself. <laughs> I feel great. I've never been in better health. And I have a great group of kids coming back. We lose some good sophomores, and uh, I mean, we lose some good seniors, but we have some good freshmen and sophomores and juniors coming back, and uh, we're going to be out there in the opening ball game wearing green shirts. I'll be there right along with them. Great. All right, Dan Devine. Uh, the game overall today was one uh, of really marked contrast to what the, the forecasters, the wizards that they might not be, uh, predicted they thought that uh, Texas would control the football with its good running game that their quickness on defense would shut down the Notre Dame offense but really uh, your team dominated every single aspect uh, do you think you're going to lay claim now to the national championship I honestly sincerely believe that we deserve it that we earned it on the field and that we should have it and I'd like to I'd like to get in with my squad Don and I think you can understand that being a former athlete you know I'm anxious to get in right. here well Dan we're going to come in there and join you in the dressing room I know you want to get in there with him congratulations again well thank you very much and congratulations to all the players and uh, all Notre Dame people all over the world who I know today is a very happy one for them coach Dan Devine will be getting back to the coach and some of his players uh, in a little bit as they go into the locker room now let's go back up now to Lindsey Nelson all right, Don Crickey, those are Notre Dame fans on the field. The Notre Dame band has been out there. They just spelled out an ND and went to the far sideline. Notre Dame won it 38 to 10.